Hey guys, we have the kids. <laughs> SCP or parent teacher conferences tonight. That's Charlie, that's me, and then look at the shadow. That's me, that's him. Okay guys, so last night I didn't close the vlog. I didn't finish um, even videoing at the school. Um, we kind of went back and forth. Brooklyn's SCP didn't start until a little bit later because they were backed up. And then Kyler's was almost done by the time I got done. So anyway, they both are doing really well in school. With Kyler's teacher, I missed most of the academic stuff. And when I came in, um, they were on to talking, they were finishing up the academics and talking about his class participation and that kind of stuff. And his teacher had nothing but great things to say about him, which was great. Um, Kyler has always been one that makes friends with kids that don't necessarily have friends. There's a kid that was in Kyler's class a few years ago that uh, the teacher let us know that Kyler was his first friend and probably his only friend. And um, I've got to know his mom and they had taken him out of this school to try and get him some better classes and he wasn't liking it, he wasn't making friends and that kind of stuff. So they asked what teacher Kyler had and they wanted to move him back to this school and have him in there. Well, he started a few weeks ago, and Kyler, um, the teacher said, I hope it's okay, I didn't ask you guys, but we've put him with Kyler, and he sits next to him, and Kyler has kind of become his mentor. And for me, as a mom, those sorts of things mean almost more than the academics. He's doing well in all of his academics. There's a couple places that he could bring up, but to know that how he treats people and that he can be a leader in that way is where he's excelling and people notice, that's so important to me. Because in life, you can learn all the time. But to know how to treat people and to treat people well is great. Um, the teacher said thank you to us because Kyler has been able to be his mentor and help him fit in. I don't think there's any higher compliment as a parent than having your teacher tell you that your child is a mentor. So that already had me emotional. And then as we were walking down the hall, Curtis is like, did you see this kid's reflections thing? It's one of Kyler's friends. First of all, reflections is a contest that they do with, they have a theme and I think this year it was heroes and um, they do some sort of form of artwork. And I said, no, um, Kyler told me that he won Reflections. And he's like, yeah, well, this is it. And <laughs> I'm probably gonna cry, you guys. And so this boy, this friend of Kyler's, drew a picture of two boys and they were high-fiving and then they had their shadows. And see, <laughs> I can't even tell you guys. Curtis goes, do you know who the boys are? He's like, well, I guess that's Charlie. I don't know who this is. And he's like, that's Kyler. There was Kyler's friend, and he had his shadow. And there was Kyler. And on Kyler's shadow, there was a cape. And the cape is there because, as Kyler put it, so why did he draw it like that? Because I was here. Oh. That's pretty cool. The theme is heroes around me. Yeah. He was there because his friend said, you are my hero. And you have people tell you that your kid is a good kid. And sometimes as parents, we don't see it all the time. Um, I see him and his sister's interactions, which are completely different than his interactions with people at school because it's a brother-sister relationship. Um, to know that there's another kid out there that thinks that your son is his hero. And to know that Kyler is doing things and treating people in a way that he can be their hero um, is amazing to me. But to know that he has such 
such a kind heart. He's such a tender spirit. I'm so proud of him for that and the way that he lives and the way that he treats people. It was really touching. Enough with all of the crying and all of that. I just wanted to share this story with you guys. It's more for me, um, so I don't ever forget it. But I hope that we can all find it within ourselves to be nice to people. That it doesn't matter their circumstance, it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter what they look like or how they act, that we need to be nice. We need to treat them with respect and um, that we can learn from little kids what that means. We can be dignified and we can disagree with people, but in the end, we still need to treat them with respect because every person deserves that. So we love you guys and we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.